Hi, in this tutorial we are going to describe Jenkins installation and configuration with Maven, Ant and GitHub. We are going to use Tomcat application server 7. If you don't have the Tomcat installed, please refer to our earlier tutorial, Eclipse Tomcat 7 setup, where you will find simple steps to install Tomcat. You will need a Java 6 Plus SDK installed as well. This tutorial is divided into the following sections. Git binaries installation, Jenkins installation, Jenkins GitHub plugin installation, Jenkins Maven, Ant and Git configuration, and testing, building a public repository hosted on GitHub. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to install Git binaries. Navigate to the git scmcom downloads page. Download the latest stable release. Run the installer. Click through the welcome and license agreement screens. Select the directory where you want to install the Git binaries. Select the components that you want to install. I'll uncheck .sh files association with git bash because I have a separate Sigwin installation to run bash scripts. Click next. If you want the installer to create a start menu folder for git, leave default settings on this screen. Click next. On the Adjusting Your Path Environment screen, select Run Git from the Windows command prompt to add Git executable to your path so that Git can be called from the command prompt. Click Next. Leave the default settings on the Configuring the Line Ending Conversion screen. Click Next. The installation process begins. Done. Now open the command prompt and enter git. Looks like it has been installed correctly. Okay. The next step we are going to take is installing Jenkins. As I mentioned earlier, I'm using Tomcat application server. I'm going to download and deploy the Jenkins application. Have a look. Let's start Tomcat by calling the startup.sh script which is located in Tomcat's bin directory. I'm going to tell the log file. Tomcat server is running. Now navigate to Jenkins-CI.org. Download the latest Jenkins war release. Copy the downloaded WAR file to your Tomcat's deploy directory. Here, we see that Jenkins is being deployed. Navigate to HTTP localhost 8080 Jenkins. Our Jenkins application is ready to use. Next, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the GitHub plugin so that you'll be able to build projects hosted on GitHub.com. Here is how it's done. 
Click Manage Jenkins. Click Manage Plugins. Click the Available tab. Enter GitHub in the Filter field. Check the GitHub plugin for installation. Click the Download Now and Install After Restart button. Wait till all needed plugins are downloaded. Restart the server. I'm ending tail command and calling the shutdown.sh script. Okay, Tomcat is down. Now call the startup.sh script to start Tomcat. The Jenkins application is starting up. Here it is. Now, I'm going to configure Jenkins so that we can use Maven, Ant, and Git tools in our builds. Have a look. Click Manage Jenkins. Next, click Configure System. In the JDK section, click Add JDK button and check the Install Automatically option. Now enter JDK name. Enter the Java home variable value, which is pointing to the SDK directory. Next, in the Git section, click the Git Installations button. Leave Path to Git Executable with the value git.exe. We can do it because git executable was added to the path variable. Next, in the ant section, click add ant and check the install automatically option. Enter the ant name value. Enter the path to your ant installation in the ant home field. In the Maven section, configure the same things and check the Install Automatically option. Enter the Maven name and path to your local Maven installation. Click Accept. Click Save. Now we are ready to test our configuration. I'm going to take one of our projects available on GitHub and build it using the Jenkins solution. I'm going to build an Axis 2 client project. Let's copy read-only URL. In the Jenkins panel, click New Job. Leave the build a freestyle software project option selected. Enter a job name. Click OK. In the source code management section, select Git. Enter the repository URL that you have just copied. Click the advanced button and click the advanced button again. Check the skip internal tag option so that if not checked, Jenkins would create a separate tag for each build in the repository. In the build section, select invoke top level Maven targets. Enter the goal value. In my case, I want to compile the project. Click the advanced button. I must enter the directory where the project's pom.xml file is located.
Click Apply. Click Save. Click Build Now. Go to the console output of the current build. The project is being built. Jenkins is fetching the project from the GitHub repository and starting up Maven build. The build has finished successfully. Okay, that's all. If you have questions, just post them in the comment space below this video on itqts.com. Visit our Facebook page and Twitter channel. Take care and take IT easy. Bye.